Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom, and it is day two of our February 2024 release. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's Clovers for Sale stamp set, along with their border dies, their gnome dies St. Patrick's Day add-ons, their Build-A-Booth Clover add-ons, our North, po North Pole sign die, our gnome dies leg add-ons. I'm also using the P13 stamping pad skin tones, the barbecue 12 inch pad, and the six inch fairy garden pad, and the over the rainbow pad. So first I've got a piece of paper tray ink white cardstock cut at 4.25 by 11, scored at five and a half inches with my Martha Stewart scoreboard and my Teflon bone folder. And I'm cutting a piece of paper that is from the over the rainbow six inch pad from Doodlebug. I'm cutting out um, a strip of paper about a one inch, one inch wide. And I'm going to apply that to the inside of my card base. Now I'm also using the brand new stamp set bunny trail, which is amazing. And I'll show you what we can do with that. Now I did cut these two little clovers and that's from the Build-A-Booth um, clover add-ons. And I'm going to glue those down on the inside of my card base with some Nouveau glue. And I cut them out of paper tray ink, new leaf cardstock. And I, I think that the darker green was a smooth American crafts cardstock, but I can't be 100% sure, but it's just a little bit darker. There we go. And now I'm going to stamp on the inside with this Clovers for Sale stamp set. And I'm going to stamp a sentiment on that one. And it says, wishing you a happy St. Patrick's Day. And I'm using my uh, Misty Corners to get that lined up. Stamping in my Misty using Versafine Claire Nocturne ink. And I'm going to stamp that sort of towards the middle of my card. Remember, stamp it multiple times. Don't push too hard. That's your friend. And then you'll get a great stamped image. There we go. Now I went ahead and I cut out this paper. This is from the Fairy Garden six inch pad from Doodlebug. And I used our card, um, our card mat dies. Yeah, I showed you a little picture there. And it's just a cloud background. I love the stitching on these dies. They're my favorite. I'm just going to line that up onto my A2 size card front. There we go, with some ATG tape. Now I'm going to put together some of these little um, St. Patrick's Day um, leprechauns. So I cut the base out of American Crafts black cardstock. You won't see that. And then their little pants are cut out of new leaf cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. And then their feet are cut out of paper or out of P13 stamping pad skin tones. Remember, you can get that at the Jada Blossom store under Fun Extras. Now I do weight it down with an acrylic block in between. I'll do the exact same, same thing to this one using the same colors. I'm really loving this new release. This bunny trail stamp set is amazing. So great that you can use it with the um, North Pole sign die. It just makes it a lot more versatile. Like not only can you use it for Christmas, but you could use it for other seasons, which is fun. And there's a couple of sent sentiments on, well, a bunch of sentiments, but you could use it for Easter. You could use it for um, St. Patrick's Day. So there we go. That is paper tray ink, black cardstock, and then the little buckles cut from gold mirror cardstock from Recollections. Using Nouveau Glue and my reverse tweezers to put it all together. All my die cutting today was done with my Anna Griffin Empress machine. So same thing here. I cut this North Pole sign out of American Crafts black cardstock, but you won't see it. It doesn't matter what the base is. This is paper drink white cardstock. Then I cut the little finial and the base out of paper drink black cardstock. So we'll add those. And I'm using my reverse tweezers to pick them up and line them up in place. So easy stuff, and I'll add this top down. There we go. And um, I'm going to take a second one of these layers, and I'm just going to make sure everything is level um, for when I add my top layer. So I just sort of cut off the sides, so I'll have these sides brought up to that post, that same level of, that the post is. I suppose I could have cut the whole sign just out of white cardstock and saved myself a step. Now, this sentiment is from that Bunny Trail stamp set. It says Leprechaun Lane, which is kind of fun, right? And that is cut out of P13 
paper to ink white cardstock again, and I will weight it down. Now, the little green stripes were cut out of Doodlebug's green cardstock. It's got um, a texture to it, which is nice. It's always nice to have a texture on your images. I think it adds a lot. Using my Studio Catty embellishment wand to pick that up. There we go. And what a cute little sign that is, right? Super cute stuff. Now I'm going to add a few little little shamrocks to my sign, and that's kind of cut from that uh, Build-A-Booth Clover add-ons. And that's cut from that New Leaf cardstock from Paper Tray Ink again. I love it. It's a great green. Oops. And there's my little sign. Okay, so I went ahead and I cut out this paper, it's a grass paper, and I cut cut it out from the Barbecue 12 inch paper line from Doodlebug. And you'll see that I'm using our border dies too. I'm using this balloon, but I'm not gonna have, it won't be a balloon. I'm just trying to decide my card layout and how it's going to look. So I cut it out a few times because I like the stitching to go all the way, all the way around. And I'm going to use um, a couple of the different um, border dies too, to kind of give myself like a hilly background. I'm going to cut another of the balloon bottoms just so it's kind of more of a, I don't know, a bump versus like a swoop, <laughs> if you understand what I mean. But this is what I do when I'm trying to create a card background. Because Leanne's crazy. We've established that I'm a little bit crazy when it comes to these details, especially my stitching lines around the edge. I know that's a little bit crazy, but I can't help myself. I love that stitching along the border. So I'm using some Easy C tape, and then I'm running that through my die cutting machine just to give myself the different levels of grass. And I know you can't really see in between them, but I will do some inking just to make them, you know, stand out a little bit more. So I'm just trying to decide where that last hill is going to end up. And then I will cut out another level. And this is really, I left this in because I wanted you to see how I kind of eyeball and come up with things. And this is what I do. So I come up with my level and then I will cut my layer. And I'll save these leftover pieces. I'll use them on something in the future. Now I'm pulling out my Distress ink and this is mowed lawn. And I'm just using a Ranger ink blending tool. And I'm just going to ink along the edges of this grass. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. But what it will do is it's going to kind of emphasize the edges of these hills. And that's what I was going for. There we go. Now, I do sort of, um, in the beginning, I think that I'm going to keep that sign in the center but I end up having it off to the left just slightly, just so my card layout works. So that's why I cut off the um, you know, tip of the balloon there. So now I'm going to add these layers, trying to come out with where I'm going. And of course I forgot one, so badly on. There we go, and I'm going to re-stick that down onto this layer it was supposed to be on. And there you go. And that's why I think it makes a difference sometimes when you ink. So the inking really worked well along these little hills. So I'm just trying to get these guys all sorted out. There we go. And like I said, adding that glue in, Nouveau Glue. I like that little tip in the bottle that I'm using. That's just a cheapo bottle. I think I got it on Amazon. It came with a whole set of bottles and tips, and that's what I'm using. Okay, so I'm just layering this all up, and I'm going to have this little leprechaun kind of his head peeking out with just his mustache is, the, is what I was hoping to go for. And then I'm going to have it looking like leprechauns are diving behind the hills. So there is this little mustache that's cut from American Crafts Rust cardstock. So sorry, I glued down that first little gnome behind the hill, tucked him in behind. This next one is behind this hill. I've got to clear out my nozzle. 
That happens sometimes. And yeah, there we go. And I will stick this down. There, I cleared it out better. And I will line up this little guy. So it looks like I've got a couple of little leprechauns diving behind the hills. Now I'm going to add on this little rust colored mustache that is from American Crafts um, cardstock. So it's a textured rust colored cardstock, making them a little redhead, right? And then I'm going to, you know, pop up his little nose. That's that P13 stamping pad skin tones. So I'm going to have him kind of peeking over the hill and his mustache is kind of, and nose are kind of hanging over the edge. You know, kind of like, remember those Ziggy cartoons? I probably am dating myself, but there used to be these Ziggy cartoons. He would peek above and his nose would just sort of peek over the edge. That's what I'm going for. So he's peeking out. All the other ones are kind of diving behind the hills. And I'm going to pop down this little sign, which is so fun that you could, you know, customize this for any season, right? And now I went, and I went ahead and I cut out these little slices of gold. These are meant to go with that, um, with that pot of gold. But I just cut them out with that Recollections Gold Mirror cardstock. And it's going to look like they're diving behind the hills and there's lots of gold back there. Lots of little stashes of money these leprechauns are diving into, right? So I'm just so, sort of, you know, sticking them in behind with some glue. And I just love how this turned out. I think it like, looks super cute. I did go ahead and cut some singular coins out from that same Recollections Gold Mirror cardstock. Just making sure everything's stuck down well. And I'm taking a little X-Acto blade or pen blade and just cutting off the edge of that, what was sticking out behind from behind. And there we go. Now, I've got more of those little gold coins that I'm going to kind of sprinkle here and there. I'm going to put them, you know, kind of underneath where this little leprechaun's diving. And I'll pile some up behind the sign as well, just trying to figure out where these are going to end up. But that's why I left it in, because this is what I do when I make a card, right? I sort of, you know move things around. Sometimes if I'm not sure if I like the layout, I'll use my phone and take a picture of the layout and see what I think of the picture. Sometimes what your eyes see and what a picture shows you are two like greatly different things. I can tell right away from the picture if I like something or not. Sometimes it's hard, you know, from my eyes to tell if I really like something. So that's what I do. I'll take a picture of the layout and decide, does that look balanced? Does, do I like that or not? And that's what I did here. So now I'm going to be adding on these little coins kind of flying in the air like they dove, dove in and the coins went flying. Adding that with my Nouveau glue. And I just love how this turned out. I just think it's super cute. So now these little grass tufts, um, those are from the um, tree stump dies. And that's cut out of that same new leaf cardstock from Paper Trank. And I'm just going to cut the bottoms flat just so I can you know can kind of line them up along beside this little sign yeah that's the tree stump die there so I'll line them up behind the sign with that Nuvo glue and I'll add a few here and there as well just for you know some ambiance I guess you'll say There we go. And because those are curved, it fits along those curves perfectly. And there we go. Super cute, right? So I'm pulling out my secure white jelly roll pen in a number 10, and I'll add a couple of highlights, you know, just for fun. I like the bold lines that the number 10 gives. And there we go. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, Be Inspired by the Team. The Jada Blossom store to get your hands on this whole amaz amazing release with the Gotta Have It Now. Um, everything goes a la carte as of Thursday, but you can get the Gotta Have It Now early. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you soon in the next video. Bye.